And enough is enough. Teachers, parents, school districts, they're all going back and forth on the best ways to learn in a pandemic, the best way to move forward in education right now as to where we're in in this particular time in history. This week alone, we've seen uh, students who've walked out of class. We've seen organized protests from students. We've seen teachers not want to come back to class. Uh, this particular situation boiling over at the city's uh, largest high school in New York City, uh, it's also the nation's largest high school. Uh, some students are demanding better safety measures uh, due to the Omicron surge. National correspondent Paul Gerke live outside of Brooklyn Technical High School. This high school is huge. I mean, around 6,000 students attend here. And we're hearing all kinds of things on Twitter about whether people think it's best to stay in learning uh, in the classroom or to move to remote learning. Paul? That's the debate right now, Adrian. How do kids learn during a pandemic? How do teachers even begin to teach? We've been trying to figure out the answers to these questions for the better part of two years. And now the debate is spilling out of the schools and into the streets. There are plenty of students protesting in advocacy for more safe learning conditions, but still there are others on the other side of the issue who insist that being in person is absolutely essential to a proper education. From coast to coast, students are walking out of the classroom over COVID concerns. Near Los Angeles, dozens of Redondo Union High School students walked out Wednesday morning, sending a clear message to administrators, we don't feel safe on campus. More than 400 of the school's roughly 2,600 students are infected with COVID, more than 30 staff members. Finals are coming up. That would be nice to close for finals, but it's like... I don't know, because it's like once you once you go down that path, it's kind of hard to come back. Students voiced their concerns at a board meeting Tuesday. The board's president, Raymer Flynn, insisted Redondo Union provides an essential service, adding, quote, our schools are going to be the last to close, first to open. In Okemos, Michigan, about an hour outside of Ann Arbor, dozens protested their campus's COVID policies and a new rule banning backpacks in the wake of the Oxford school shooting. In New York City, about 200 young people walked out of Brooklyn Technical High School demanding remote or hybrid learning options. How can you learn in an environment where students are missing, staff is missing, you're not really learning anything. Three students coordinated a walk out of Manhattan's Stuyvesant High School on social media, upset over the same lack of virtual options. There are families who have not sent their kids back to school yet because they, either the parent or the child does not feel safe. New York City Schools Chancellor David C. Banks has agreed to meet with students, saying, quote, the best decisions are made when everyone has a seat at the table. We've received another statement from the New York City Department of Education saying they wholeheartedly support civic engagement, adding, quote, student voice is key and we will continue to listen to and work closely with those most impacted by our decisions, the students. In the meantime, back out in California, Los Angeles Unified returned to school this Tuesday. While there were no reported walkouts that we're aware of, Adrian, we do know about 30 percent of the kids were absent. 30 percent? 30%. I think some of the kids want to stay home. I think some of the parents want to keep them home. This debate is far from settled as to how we create the safest learning environment possible. Thank you. And, and some kids want to stay home for one reason or another. And other people are really, <laughs> truly concerned about their health. There's that as well. Um, there's no doubt there's some riding the wave. Thank you so much, Paul. Today there will Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.